Hello everyone, my name is Spoonmuffet and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up FreeCam. So this is a file that was made by Navy Nexus uh, that you can basically put into your game's game files as a replacement for your third person back camera angle and it will allow you to view your world's caves and x-ray and everything uh, completely freely without enabling cheats or anything. Um, now of course credit for this goes to Navy Nexus, however there are a couple of things that his video does not explain that I'm going to be going through in this video because I think uh, I can explain it in a more clear way uh, than Navy Nexus did in his. So yeah definitely go over to Navy Nexus's channel and subscribe because he's got amazing content uh, but yeah I'm just gonna be uh, redoing this one just because uh, yeah he could explain a few things a little bit better so I'm gonna do that for him. So first things first what I want to say is that this only works if you play on the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft Bedrock Edition so this will only work if you play on PC or a jailbroken Android device will work too any device that you have access to all your game files on, yeah, you can do this on. But I do not recommend jailbreaking your phone as it is, I'm pretty sure, illegal. Uh, but also, uh, yeah, it's quite risky and you could end up bricking your phone, which is not what you want to do. Uh, so yeah, definitely be careful if you're going to do that. But uh, yeah, this will work very easily on Windows 10 if you have that. So no problem at all there. So FreeCam will only work up to your render distance, as you can see here, it will stop after a certain point, uh, just like that, and there'll be a cutoff at your chunk boundaries. Uh, so as you can see, my render distance is at 80 chunks, so I can actually go quite far, however most devices can only handle 16 chunks, so you won't be able to go uh, quite nearly as far as this. Now, in most cases, FreeCam if you are a couple of thousand blocks away from the coordinates 0, 0, FreeCam will uh, generate, uh, you know, out in the open looking like this. There'll be nothing around you, you can't see anything. So, what you'll notice is as you go into FreeCam, you'll see where the island comes from, and if you fly in that direction with W, then as you can see, uh, the world will load in like so. Now, if you're, say for example, if I just teleport myself, uh, 1000, 1000, then as you can see, if I do that, it'll go away quite quickly. However, same thing applies if I just fly over to my render distance, then the world should load in after a little bit of time of flying in that direction. So if we just wait, and you can check how far you've come by just going back here and then back into free cam again. So I need to go in that direction, so I'll keep going. And as you can see, just like that, uh, your free cam will fly over to those coordinates and you will be able to look around at, well, 1000, 1000. It just takes a little bit of time to fly over sometimes. Free cam travels at 30 blocks per second. You can customize this in the file, which I will show you in a bit. So let's get to setting this up. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to download this file right here from the link in the description below. It is a media file link, it is not a virus, it is quite simply a link to this notepad here and all that will do is you'll download this file and this is what you're going to be replacing your third person back camera angle with. I'll also leave a link to the default third person back camera angle should you need to change it back. It is the same process as putting this file uh, in the originals place. It is just the same thing except you replace it back, the original for the free cam. Next one I want to do is download another software in the description. It is called IOBit Unlocker. Uh, don't worry, this is also completely safe. Uh, I've used it for years now and yeah, it's completely safe, do not worry. Uh, a link to it will be in the description down below. And yeah, all you need to do is download that and then what you want to do is launch it. And then it'll ask you, do you want it to make changes to your device? You just need to click yes. Then what you need to do is click on add and then you want to go into your local disk, which in my case is my C drive. 
then you want to go into program files and then you want to go into windows apps now you probably won't be able to see uh, windows apps straight away so what you want to do is go into file explorer and then you want to go into view and then show hidden items you want to check that box there okay if that box is unchecked then you won't be able to see that windows apps folder there however if you uh, check that box there then you will be able to see it so just one more time you want to open up file explorer go into the view section up here and then click on hidden items and check that box next what we want to do is go into that windows apps folder then you want to scroll down and you want to try and find the folder that says microsoft.minecraftuwp, that folder there, you want to try and find that. Then you want to click on data, then definitions, and then cameras, and then cameras again. And then you want to click on thirdperson.json, okay, and then you want to click on OK, which, hang on, there you go, OK, which is there. Okay, and as you can see, if you just uh, click this arrow here and then click on unlock and delete, it will delete that uh, the person.json file successfully. Now you can click on exit. Next what I want you to do is go to the other file that you downloaded from the media file link and I want you to right click on it and then click on iobit unlocker. Then you want to allow it to make changes to your device. And then you want to click on the little arrow and then click on unlock and copy. It'll then bring up this here. And then what you want to do is click on your local disk, which is my C drive. And then you program files. Then you want to go into Windows apps again, Microsoft.minecraft.uwp, data, definitions, cameras, and then cameras again. And then you just want to click OK. And then as you can see here, it'll say unlock and copy successfully. And then you just click on exit. And that is the entire thing done. So now if you load up your Minecraft Bedrock Edition, uh, by the way, this is Bedrock only, obviously, because those files don't exist if you play on Java Edition. Uh, then you click on play, go into a world of your choice, and then FreeCam will load up. So I'm just gonna teleport myself to zero till the zero and as you can see here i am uh, i'm inside my oil rig which is nice okay and yeah so if i hop into free cam here as you can see i can now x-ray underneath and to access free cam you just need to change your camera angle so um in my case, changing camera angle, I've assigned to the button C on my keyboard. Uh, for most people, it'll be F5. So yeah, just change your camera angle to what would be your uh, third person uh, back camera angle. And then, um, yeah, you'll be able to go into free cam like so. You'll notice that I do not have a third person back camera angle anymore. I have got a third person front, which is this, and I have free cam and that's all I have. So I do not have the uh, third person back camera angle that I normally do. Uh, so yeah, FreeCam is very helpful. It allows you to actually, I noticed down there a second ago, uh, there's hidden treasure somewhere around here. I just saw, I can't remember where it is, but uh, yeah, you can actually x-ray to find spawners, mine shafts, things like that. I don't recommend you do this as it's a little bit cheaty, but if you're operator on your server or if you're okay with it on your single player world, uh, then yeah, it's uh, completely fine and go nuts. So yeah, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. If you liked it, then make sure to subscribe or hit the like button down below. Anyway, yep, yeah, that's gonna do it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now, bye.